Hello and welcome to a brief demonstration of how to use Spring Boot uh, with uh, the new Spring Tool Suite 3.4 or better. Um, this is a Spring Boot is a, is a new project that's been uh, enabled by uh, in part by um, uh, the new conditional uh, at conditional annotation infrastructure in Spring Framework 4.0. So it's very simple. Uh, we can create a. a re we're going to show you how to use a uh, how to create a REST-based uh, service with Spring Boot uh, from scratch in just a few seconds. So what I'll do is pick a Spring a Spring Starter project, and we'll call it. You know, have a default name of demo is fine. Uh, what's interesting though is that you can pick a number of different libraries uh, and and features of Spring Boot to have automatically added into the class path uh, of the application. Um, and in this case, what I'm going to do is have it use an embedded web container, uh, which is Tomcat. But you can uh, there's some a few other options, um, and then I'm also going to include the actuator uh, libraries. And you can see here some of the other uh, supported Spring Boot environments, and there's more support for Spring Boot on the way uh, as the year gets on, and as uh, Spring Framework 4.0 uh, has some more time. Um, so I'm going to choose the actuator to give me some self-health metrics um, and some very lightweight ability uh, to do status monitoring and some other uh, kind of convenient uh, developer convenient utilities that I'll demonstrate for you in just a moment. Um, so if I click next, uh, you see here that it just the the, the starters at um, projects that it points to are on the internet. Uh, we host them, so you know if there's ever an update, you don't need to wait for the latest uh, uh, Spring Tool Suite release uh, to consume those. So I'm just going to click finish. And that's going to create my Spring Boot application. Now I can literally just right-click on that and say "Run as Java App," um, and it will uh, fire it off for me. Now uh, there's not much very interesting happening here. I mean, I have initialized a, a web container. Uh, I'm going to tell it what uh, Java main class it's, it's supposed to use. Shouldn't do that actually. It's funny that it's asking me. Um, and uh, Spring Boot environment will boot up. And um, what I'll do is uh, just call that up. Um, and we should get a white label error page because there's really no sort of um, code that we've written to tell it to react to anything at this point. But we can fix that right quick. Uh, you see here's the um, Java main class that you're using to run it as a Java app. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just create a, a new, uh, new class and call this um, greeting. Uh, click finish. Oh, I should point out also that um, you know all the sort of Maven uh, dependencies are kind of handled for you. Um, all the class path has uh, you know has been updated, um, so uh, you don't you know don't need to worry about that. That's what you did when you, you checked off those boxes before. So um, what we'll do is um, very simply just annotate, uh, write a teeny little bit of very clean code, uh, and use um, annotations to indicate that this is going to be a Spring MVC controller. Um, and uh, then import that class. And then um, what we'll do is just add a, a method here uh, and have it do something. So um, have it return a, a string uh, with the method name of greeting. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, just have it return a, a string. Hello. Very, very simple. Literally, hello world here. Um, and then uh, uh, to what I, I want to tell it what URL to react to. So I'm just going to use the at request uh, mapping. So this is the absolute bare minimum sort of amount of configuration uh, that you're working with, and you're doing it right here in code, uh, very clean. So, um, uh, and then we'll call this forward slash greeting. And let's spell that right. Um, great, so that's the URL it's going to respond to. Uh, and then import that class. Um, the very last thing uh, to do in these three steps here is um, just add a response body. Um, so a response body object, um, and that will make sure the correct content type is there. Great. All right. So now we're all set. Uh, we just hit save, and um, you can just rerun the service by uh, clicking this uh, little uh, button in Eclipse. And come over here, and then let's call the greeting uh, URL that we've told it to, asked it for before. And wonderful, um, it's it's right here waiting for us um, and and giving us the, the hello message back. Uh, the nice thing about including the actuator endpoint is there, there's a few other things you kind of get for free. Uh, you can just uh, ask for um, environment information uh, about that REST service, that, and it will provide it for you. Um, you can ask for um, some basic, 
basic health metrics, extremely just basic text-based stuff. Uh, obviously, this is all extensible if you need something fancier, but um, it'll tell you what beans are running in, the, in that particular application context uh, uh, for that, for that uh, application. Uh, you can have it include some sort of user-defined information about the service. Um, I'm also going to have it have some metrics. How many times has this service been called? Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I'd like a stack trace, uh, for example, um, or maybe even a, a memory dump. Um, uh, again, all this sort of available by just simple uh, REST JSON commands, uh, and even tell the service to, to shut itself down and, and revert back to the error page. So extremely quickly, you, you see that uh, when in seconds you can really get a a REST, a very robust REST service um, that has just the libraries you need and the features you need, so that there's no bloat. Uh, this is great for when you're developing very lean services uh, that have uh, you know short dependency trees on them. Um, um, or, or, or other sort of very tightly scoped services. So thanks, hope you enjoyed the demo, and I uh, look forward to hearing your feedback on the Spring Framework 4 release and uh, the new Spring Boot capabilities, uh, particularly with inside of Spring Tool Suite. Uh, enjoy, and thanks, bye.